Well, hello. Following on from my previous video, why I'm pivoting my own art, I wanted to share what I'm going to be doing differently in 2023 in terms of my art, my business, and a little exciting project in my personal life as well. Now, if you watched and completed your art business review and you got my free download as well that gave you the annual art business review form then you'll likely realize having gone through that process of looking what worked and what didn't work in this previous year that you might need to be making some changes in the next year remember that phrase what got you here won't get you there Hmm, well, I'm going to be sharing three things that I'll be doing differently next year as a direct result of doing that very exercise. Before I share those three things I'm going to be doing differently, make sure to stay to the very end because I'm going to be sharing a crazy project that I'll be doing in my personal life that's going to run alongside my art and my business. And I want to make sure that you don't miss out on the opportunity of following that as well if you would like to. All right, are we ready to dive into those three things I'm gonna be doing differently next year? Number one, I'm gonna be growing my online membership. Now, if you've been watching for a while, you'll know that I have an online course, Build Your Artist Business Plan, a membership, the Art Business Academy, and I also offer occasionally some one-to-one -one art business coaching. Now, up until now, with the membership, the Art Business Academy, we focused solely on content and routine. We focused on building out our Art Biz Success Path, which are the six steps that sit underneath the membership and take you from total beginner with no business right the way through to running your dream profitable art business and all the steps that you need to take along the way. And it's been quite a project, let me tell you, but the feedback from current members is that it's been definitely worth our time, energy and effort of putting together the content and getting those steps in the right order. And of course, each and every month to make sure that we're delivering high quality new content, the new training, the new downloads, the question and answer session that the members get, and of course, the most popular item, the group coaching. It's been quite a lot of work getting all the pieces to kind of flow together. So it's taken a lot of time, energy and effort to get it to where it is today. And now we are in phase two. And phase two, it's all about welcoming in many, many, many new members. So my objective for next year is 100% what I've been teaching you already, and that is to focus on building out and of course engaging with a quality mailing list. So my intention is gonna to be to grow the existing list I have already and continue with that routine that I've set up. And I would suggest the same for you. No matter how you structure your art business, one of your core focuses is going to be growing a mailing list. So you can watch and see how I'm gonna be doing that over the course of the next 12 months. Of course, I have plenty of resources too, so I will list the videos and the free mailing list challenge that you can join as well below this video. The second thing I'm gonna be doing differently next year is building a solid painting routine. Now this is definitely something that's only just recently become a must do again. So I'm super, super excited about that. So since permanently taking on three studio rooms and zoning them for different areas, so for example, at the moment, I am sitting in the front room, which is closest to the road and warmest for those of you who live in Australia, you'll understand that. Um, this is the painting zone and across the corridor I have more of an office, an artsy office and then I have a store and kind of making dirty rooms. So if I need to sand anything or saw something or glue and stick or cut and just make a general mess then I have a big storage and mess zone down there. And of course, if you watch my previous video, how I pivoted my art, you'll understand that I have now really stepped into the new version of my thing, my art style. So of course, I'm really excited just to paint at every opportunity. So creating that solid routine whereby I come down here in the morning for an hour or two every day and just get the painting done is something that's going to really hold me in good stead for all of next year and beyond. So before this on the art journey, I was still exploring, trying new things and kind of in that transition from what I'd done before, which is kind of down there, you can sort of see a corner of it in this video, I think, to what I'm doing now, which you can't see because it's the other side of the camera.
but I was not putting real energy and time in building a collection and selling it. Right, and so this is what's new and different for me. I'm very excited to be in a place where I feel happy to be out doing that again. So that's gonna be my second thing I'm doing differently in 2023. And the third thing I'm going to be doing differently is I'm gonna be setting up a new standalone art business. So now down to the nitty gritty. This is the making the money from the art. This is the bit that you are likely watching my videos for. It's like, come on Sophie, how do I make the money? I know, I see the stats, I know which videos you watch the most. I know why you're here and I totally get it. So I'm gonna be very transparent as I head out on my journey next year. So the very first thing I did, drum roll, of course I created my own separate new business plan. And all of you are nodding and holding on to your business plans, aren't you? Because you've likely got all of those done or you're finishing them off ready for the beginning of next year. And in that process, I realized, of course, that my major weakness was my lack of available time to put into the new business. You know, I have an existing training business and I have that project next year that I'll be coming to at the very end of the video. So my time to start this new business is very, very limited. So therefore I had to look up, well, how could I design the business in such a way that time wasn't quite such an issue for me? So I came up with a kind of obvious solution, really. I had three different ways that I could structure the business that came to me, obviously. One is I could take the originals and create products off the originals. So therefore I needed less originals and I could have all these byproducts, print on demand or drop shipping, prints, etc., etc. Now, I don't actually really want to do that because one of the other main aims is to have less time on the computer. So I decided option A, not for me. Option B, of course, is to create a service with that business. Now, I already have a service-based business, so I didn't really want to focus on yet another service-based business. Or option number three, which is what I've gone for, well, I need to sell somebody else's artwork, right? So from there, my new art business idea was born. So remember how I'm also always teaching you how to be super, super clear on who your audience are, because remember, we cannot target everybody. We need to niche down, we need to create a niche, and we need to define that audience. So my audience is simple, they're going to be business owners, so small to medium-sized enterprises or even larger corporates. So I'll be offering high-quality original art of WA by local artists to enhance your working space. Now, if you'd like to follow my journey as I set up and build that business, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I will be creating a new playlist specifically for the growth of how I structure and grow what's basically an arts agency business starting next year. Now, in a minute, I'm gonna share with you that crazy project and you'll understand why this will be a fairly slow start. And in fact, I might not start it till the middle of next year. I might not launch it officially until the middle of next year because of a few other things that are going on. Now, isn't this amazing? Because without a business plan, I wouldn't have worked any of that out, right? I would have maybe said to myself, you know what, I need to sell more of my art next year. So I'm going to, you know, find some local people to, to sell to. I'll have an exhibition. I'll do this. I'll do that. And very quickly, I could have become overwhelmed because one of my challenges is I don't have so much available time because I'm already running a training business. Now, if I hadn't done the plan, I wouldn't have come up with what I think is a super brilliant idea. And I'm not only gonna be able to build a business for myself, but I'm also gonna be able to build and support local artists in this area to grow their businesses as well. So for me, it feels like a win-win. And then we're gonna enhance walls of local businesses in, the, in this Perth area. So I feel like it's a win-win-win. Win-win-win. Sophie's gonna win local artists are gonna win and local businesses are gonna win. So what a great business to build. So I'm super excited. And like I say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can follow my progress. Okay, drum roll, here it is. And I hear you say, so what is this crazy project you're doing next year, Sophie? In a couple of days time, my partner and I are gonna get keys to a property that we've bought locally. Now, the caveat is that property needs to come down and we are gonna build our dream home where that property stood. So next year, we're going to be building a house and it's gonna take a while, obviously, because house building takes a while. Luckily for me though, guess what my partner does for a living? He runs a high turnover building company and so has already designed, or we have together already designed the house that we want. 
And so bit by bit, alongside him running his business, my, me running my businesses, we're going to be building that house step by step. Now, I know that a lot of you are probably sitting in the nosy camp where I would be sitting if I were watching you with this video. And I'd be like, I want to see that process. I want to watch when you smash down the original house and build a new one, right? Who wouldn't want to see that? Because you can bet your bottom dollar, I'm going to be time-lapsing, videoing, doing all the things every single step of that house build. Now, it doesn't feel appropriate in any way, shape or form to put those videos on this YouTube channel because that's not what it's here for. So I haven't yet decided whether I'll start a second channel or whether I'll simply put all of it on Instagram. But I will let you know, don't worry, if you want to watch, um, the exact journey of demolishing it's kind of a cute house but it's in a really bad state and it was built a very long time ago it's definitely not renovatable we are going to knock that down and build another one if you want to watch that process then you want to make sure that you are in the place that I'm going to share that and like I say I will let you know so to sum things up next year looks like this number one we've got to put our existing house on the market and sell it number two we have to find somewhere to live whilst we build the new house. Number three, I've got an existing business to run. Number four, I am gonna start that new business, but you can understand why that won't be happening initially. I'm also going to be painting as well. Oh, and my youngest daughter's getting married. So we're also going to Europe for that. So there's an awful lot of different things all up in the mix. Next year's gonna require a few different things. It's gonna require discipline. It's gonna require planning. It's probably gonna require some patience and it's definitely gonna require some self-care time, some health routines as well. So to follow how I do all of that, make sure that you are following me here on YouTube and over on my Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're inspired to make your 2023 absolutely incredible. And if you're watching this at the time that it came out, comes out, then have an amazing Christmas and New Year. And I look forward to beaming in through your phone or laptop with more exciting videos um, from next year. So take care, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.